Ever wonder what's just beyond the frame of your AI-generated image? Curious to peek around that corner and actually see what's there? Now you can, with Midjourney's new features. Prepare to stretch your creativity, because Midjourney's given us the tools to add depth, dimension, and open up a whole new world of creative possibilities. Midjourney has been launching an array of new features lately, and today we're exploring how to use the pan and zoom tools in Midjourney. These two distinct yet complementary tools transform what's inside your frame, revolutionizing the way you interact with your AI-generated images. Before we jump into the how-to, I've got to share why I'm so thrilled about these new tools. Confession time. I'm the kind of person who always forgets to set the right aspect ratio for my images. I'll get an AI render that just takes my breath away. It's perfect, but there's one problem. I need a portrait or a video-friendly landscape format, and I've ended up with a square image. Now you might think, no big deal, just re-roll or remix, right? Well, I've tried that, and it's kind of hit or miss. Rerolls give me a different image, and remixing can change the magic of that original shot. This is where Midjourney's new features are a game changer. No more crossing fingers and hoping for the best. Now I can simply extend the images without losing their essence. It's truly a revolutionary feature for all of us content creators. Another thing that gets me every time is how Midjourney loves centering the subject. As a photographer, I live by the rule of thirds, but no matter how hard I try to coax Midjourney to place the subject off center, it seems to have a mind of its own. With the new pan tool, I can finally say goodbye to this problem. I can let Midjourney do its thing and simply shift the subject left or right. It's that simple. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of these fantastic features. Let me show you how to make the most of Midjourney's new tools. The zoom tool adds space around your image on all sides, top, bottom, left, and right. It's up to you to decide how much space to add. You can choose two times to double the visual size of your image or go with 1.5x. And zoom works on any aspect ratio. To use the zoom tool, upscale an image from the grid of four. You will see three zoom buttons. You'll see a quick zoom out two times, zoom out 1.5 times, and a custom zoom button. If you created your image before the zoom tool was released, there are a couple of ways to get the zoom buttons. Try upscaling your image again from the original grid. If Midjourney doesn't let you upscale an image, find the image or original grid in your Midjourney gallery. Now copy the job ID. Back in Discord, type slash show in the message bar and paste in the job ID number. The image should reappear in the feed with the zoom tools under the upscale. If the zoom tools still aren't under your image, try making a variation of your image. The new upscale will have the zoom tool. The custom zoom feature lets you fine tune the zoom from one to two times. Zooming out by one X won't change your image at all, but 1.1 X adds just a little bit of space around your subject. and you can zoom out as many times as you want. If you don't like the background, just click the zoom button again or change the prompt with the custom zoom. Describe what you want to see in the new part of the image. You can ask for a specific background content or brighten up the image. Make square is a variation on zoom. It takes an image in any aspect ratio other than a square and makes it a square. On a tall image, this adds details to the left and right. To a long image, this adds details to the top and bottom. Now you have a handle on zoom, so what is pan? Pan is a term borrowed from videography. The camera moves side to side to follow action or to show more of a scene. It's like turning your head to follow a moving subject. 
In Midjourney, the pan tool adds extra space to your image, but only on one side or the other. You can add space to the left or to the right, or add space to the top or the bottom. Pan is particularly useful in Midjourney, which often places your subject in the middle of the frame. When you use pan, your subject will be moved off the center spot, to the left or the right. If you made your image before the pan tool came out, upscale it again, or use the show command and the job ID number. If you see the zoom tools but not the pan tools, click custom zoom and zoom out by 1x. You should get at least one image that is like your original. Upscale, and the pan arrows appear under your image. You can even pan more than once. Click the left arrow, now click it again, and continue to pan, adding more content to your image. If you start with a square image, your first pan will give you an aspect ratio of 2 by 3 or 3 by 2. Pan again and your aspect ratio becomes 1 by 2. Pan again and it becomes 2 by 5. And on and on. But once you start panning, you can't change the plane. If you pan left or right to start with, you can only add pans on the horizontal plane. If you start going up or down, you can only pan vertically. Unlike Zoom, Pan adds both visual information and resolution to your image. Each time you pan, your image grows by 50%. Midjourney is adding pixels to your image. The AI uses the original prompt and the image content to create the additional material, but turn on Remix mode and you can change the content. If you're new to Remix, type slash prefer Remix into the message bar and hit enter. It'll turn on the remix mode. Now when you click pan, you'll get a remix box that lets you change parts of your prompt. Can you use the zoom and pan tools in conjunction? Absolutely, but there are a few rules. Currently you can either zoom or pan, but not both at the same time. But you can zoom, then pan, or you can pan, then zoom, or make square. The scene can be very different depending on if you zoom out or pan. Remember, if you pan first, this makes your image larger. But if then you subsequently zoom, the image pops back to the original resolution of 1024 by 1024. So it's a good strategy to zoom first and then pan to end up with a larger image. You now have three strategies to add content to your subject. Zoom out in all directions, make your image square by extending it on one plane, or extending the scene in any one direction using pan. Getting the image you like in Midjourney is only the first step. Consider the composition. Does it need more space around the subject? Would it be better to shift the subject left or right? Do you need a different aspect ratio? Now with zoom and pan, you have the power to alter the image's composition and add fresh angles to your AI artistry. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates on more exciting features from Midjourney. Share your experiences with these tools and any tips or tricks you've discovered in the comments below. Share your creations on social media and don't forget to tag us at Making the Photo. This is Janet Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.